Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today I'm back and I'm going to teach you another really cool Tunisian stitch. So easy, so much fun. This doesn't curl um, and it's just really great. I started making some um, uh, placemats out of these so this is one that I have that's not quite finished yet and this is just showing you the front and the back okay so what the stitch looks like when you're working it from the front and what it looks like working it from the back so this is from the back what it looks like and this is from the front so they're very similar I think they're almost interchangeable um, so yeah this is really great fun and I wanted to show it to you guys okay so I am using a Tunisian size hook but depending upon what project you're using you don't have to have a Tunisian hook. The reason why we use Tunisian hooks is because we're pulling we're pulling uh, up loops going all the way down. So when we're pulling up loops, depending upon what you're making, you need something really long. You may even need something with a cable on it and they sell Tunisian hooks like that. So if you wanna use a stitch to make a blanket or something bigger, get one with a cable on them. You can find them on Amazon for really cheap. And you can go ahead and make a blanket out of this stitch. But if you wanted to just make a little small patchwork or you wanted to make a small granny square, then you could even use a regular hook. But if you wanted to make something a little bit bigger, you need these hooks. So it just depends totally on what you're making. But I would definitely deem this beginner friendly. I would definitely deem this no curl. And you will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle for the end of your project. Okay, so let's get started. So you're going to start off with a slip knot. It doesn't matter how many uh, chains you make. Again, I'm just going to show you how to do this stitch today. So we're going to start out with 15, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And then I'm going to go down and pull up loops in every stitch. Another little thing you can do if you're worried about curling um, with your projects is you can start off with a row of single crochet instead of a row like this. And that's totally up to you. Okay, so we're going to pull up loops going all the way down. And we chained 15 and we should still have 15 on our hook because this loop counts here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And now what you're going to do is you're gonna go back, you're gonna yarn over, go through one loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Just keep going through two, going all the way down. Just like that. And that's the beginning of your project right there, whatever you're making for this stitch. And now what you're going to do to do this stitch is you're going to yarn over going the opposite way. So normally when we yarn over, we go like this. That's the normal way. We're going to go the opposite way. And then we're gonna go through our first loop and then we're gonna drop that down. Then we're gonna yarn over and pull through. And that's what causes that little bump there. So again, we're going to yarn over going the opposite way. We're gonna go through our loop and we're gonna let it drop down. Then we're going to go pull yarn over and go through. And again, yarn over going the opposite way, go through your loop, let it drop down. Yarn over and pull through. Again, yarn over going the opposite way. Go through your loop, let it fall back down, and then pull through. Again, yarn over going the opposite way. Go through your loop, let it fall, and then go through. And that's all there is to this. You're gonna keep doing that all the way down. And the key is, is just remembering to yarn over going the other way. So normally you would go, um, normally you would go like this, like even after doing this stitch for a long time, I forget how to yarn over normally. So normally you would go like this, but instead you're going like this. Go into your loop, let it fall, and then pull through. 
again, let it fall and pull through. And again, let it fall and pull through. And again, let it fall and pull through. And again, let it fall and then pull through. So it is important for this that you make sure that when you do this, that you're going over the front, the opposite direction, you're going through your loop first and then you're letting it fall and then pulling through, okay? Then you've got your edge here. I want you to go through both of those loops right there on your edge, pull up one loop. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You're gonna keep the same amount of stitches on your hook going up further. Then you're going to yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, and just keep doing that all the way down. And that's all you do for this. This is your return pass. And you're just gonna repeat this as you go. I will tell you when I say that there's no curl to this, as you can see, there's really not. But if you're using a very small hook or a smaller hook than I am, it's possible that you could still have some curling even with this project. So just make sure that you're using a big enough size hook, but this one really shouldn't have any curling, okay? So again, I'm gonna show you one more time. We're gonna go back down. So we're going to yarn over going the opposite way, go through this first line here, this stitch, these are stitches going all the way down, let it drop and then pull through. Again, yarn over going the opposite way, go through our loop, let it drop, pull through. Just keep doing that all the way down. And then when you get to the end, remember to go through both sides of your edge right here and pull up a loop. And then just like before, you're gonna go through one, then go through two and go through two and just keep going through two on your return pass all the way down. Isn't that just such a beautiful stitch? I think it looks so intricate and it's so easy to do. So uh, let's do it one more time. I'm just not gonna talk or anything at all. I'm just gonna do the stitch. I might play some light music that y'all just absolutely love. Uh -huh. And then um, just to show you again, and then we'll close up the video.
Okay, so as you can see, using this 5.5 millimeter hook, which is what this yarn calls for, I have really no curling, maybe just a tiny bit in this first little part here. And if you don't like that, you can start with a row single crochet instead, but literally no curling at all. And it's gonna just keep going straight as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you need any help or anything, don't hesitate to ask. You can ask below in the YouTube comments section of course, or if you're not comfortable with that, I have a Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and I have um, a Gmail. So you can find all of that in the description box below. And hey, follow me there as well. I would appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe, guys. If you haven't already, hit the bell below so that you can get notified of my future videos. And sharing helps more than anything, and I appreciate it so much. So happy crocheting, guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.